The only OnePlus 8 Pro is coming with wireless charging. Cards against humanity is now online. Let me out please, I'm going crazy. Welcome back to MLM Monday, let me out please, I'm going crazy with Michelle. How's everybody holding up? Okay or not? Remember we eat healthy and also exercise a lot at home so that we can fight this together. Before anything, here's a word from our sponsor. Extra Malaysia introduces the brand new Game Ready Nitro 5 powered by a quad-core AMD Ryzen 7 3750H processor and the latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU. So affordable at only 2,999 ringgit, you can buy two, one for you and one for your wife. Since now got health risk everywhere, you should probably stay home and game on. But we're all stuck at home doing social distancing, some hacker called XXX Solus XXX was so bored that she leaked source codes for closed file HDL files from AMD's graphics cards to Microsoft GitHub. Yes, it's a girl. The stolen source code tree has code for Navi 10 and empty folders for other graphics chips such as the Arden GPU in the upcoming Xbox Series X, which indicates that she's also in possession of those source files as well. Microsoft removed the post as well as several forks of it from GitHub, but not before it had gotten out there. So what can somebody do with all these files? It's not like you can just compile a graphics card, you have to build it from scratch. And I cannot imagine somebody crazy enough to have a lab in their basement with 7 nanometer process nodes. The hacker is not trying to sell the unreleased files. If AMD or anyone wants to settle it down with me for money, contact me, she said on GitHub. If nobody buys the files, she'll release them in full for free. It is highly unlikely that Nvidia or anyone else will step up to buy the files from her, so she either has to break her word or release all the remaining files. The OnePlus 8 Pro isn't too far from its official release date, but we already have a lot to know about the phone thanks to Twitter user Ishan who released a full spec sheet of OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus 8 onto Twitter. Take a look! On top of that, he also released a few other things. Ishan says that the OnePlus 8 Pro display will be another curved panel, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro that preceded it. Apparently, OnePlus will also give more attention to making the display color accurate as well as including MEMC, motion estimation, motion compensation, and HDR10 Plus support. Tabby HDR will also be turned on too. It is expected to arrive on April 15 with a slate of new colors such as the purple, straight Instastella Glow and Seafoam Green. And OnePlus April may be OnePlus first ever wireless charging phone. Would you buy a OnePlus or Huawei or Samsung? Let me know in the comments below. I love using CarPlay when I connect my phone to my car because CarPlay has a very beautiful interface that makes my car look very smart. And now with the brand new iOS 13.4 update, it is even smarter. Here is how the Apple CarPlay dashboard looks like. It displays information from multiple apps at once, like messaging, music, and maps, but you could only use Apple Maps until now. The party map apps had to use a full screen view instead of appearing as a split screen on the CarPlay dashboard. With iOS 13.4, the party apps can finally be made to work on the split screen mode on CarPlay dashboard. Other than that, iOS 13.4 also adds in-call information, iCloud folder sharing, and full mouse and trackpad support for iPads. Looking ahead, leaked iOS 14 also hints that users are able to set custom wallpapers for CarPlay dashboards. When you drive, do you use CarPlay or do you just use your phone screen? Cards Against Humanity, the party game for horrible people is now online for you and me to play while we're stuck at home until April 14th. You can create a virtual room and blast the link to your friends and family for them to join the game in real time. You can even create a video chat from the game itself and the rules are the same as the real life version. If you do not play, you are officially a boomer. Just head over to playingcards.io to start playing. Here's what happened because coronavirus happened. Number 1. On March 27, Razer teamed up with Zook to host the first ever online clubbing experience on Bigo Live. Parts of the stream's donations have been donated to the government in Singapore to help fight against COVID-19. If you have missed out on the experience, don't worry about it because the companies promised more online clubbing events to happen in the future. Number 2. Maxi Cellcom DJU mobile users have been receiving free 1 gig data daily from 8am to 8pm since April 1st. If you haven't claimed your free mobile data, here is how. Ask Google! Number 3. With ventilator shortages around the world, that's is producing their own ventilators known as Covent to help COVID-19 patients. According to a statement, that's only took 10 days to build the device based on their existing technology. That's also pledged to donate 5,000 ventilators to the world, of which 1,000 to the UK. Finally, comments time! Fazman Sajid asks, Hi bro, can you suggest Intel or AMD? What should I choose for Nitro 5 Acer? 
of course lah, pick the one in our app. The Ryzen 7 3750H. Wow, that model, very good. Chai Chai say, is it just me or the audio is not synced before a three minute mark? Uh, it's not just you bro, technical difficulty. Sahanwei asks, how come Michelle looks better here than in the studio? Oh, this kind of question, little manda chole eh? Ahmad Azizu say, alamak my comment. Of course lah bro, you comment, I'm gonna put it up here. Zaid Mahir Kira Azman said that and I thought MRM is a pyramid scheme. Yes, it is. That's why we are making fun of the name and it's called Monday Logins with Michelle. Dublin AD say that TDP is crazy low. Of course, bro. This way, we can save the planet by consuming less power when we game or do work or watch prawn. Up to you lah. That's all folks. Leave a comment down below if you want to be featured in our video. And I'll see you in the next one. What?